welcome to today's video. Today I have a review for you. This is for Double Indemnity by James M. Kane. Um, now this is one that I bought from Amazon, um, mainly because, let's just go back here a little bit, I read The Eight Perfect Murders by Peter Swanson. And this is one of the books that is mentioned in that book. I will link up for you my review that I did of the Eight Perfect Murders and also my book club kit that I did for it in case you want some discussion questions and things like that. Um, but anyway, so that is what brought me to buying this book because I was curious. I want to read eventually all of the books that were mentioned in the Eight Perfect Murders book um, just to see what I think about them. And anyway, so let's go into this. This is considered a crime masterpiece, um, if you will. There's the 1940s movie about it and stuff, uh, which I have not seen, but now want to. Um, also to see how movie book um, translates and everything. This was a nice short quick read, it's 122 pages, so very doable. I read it in just an afternoon. Um, really really good so yeah this was uh, quite a page turner um, did enjoy this one very torn between giving it a four and a five star I've opted for a four star but it's kind of like a four and a half really I think this one I did really enjoy this though anyway um, so anyway what can I tell you about this book? We have Walter Huff, who is an insurance investigator, who one day ends up meeting the beautiful and dangerous Phyllis. Okay, now um, Phyllis is married and um, together with Walter, they come up with a scheme to kill her husband and um, split the insurance. Okay, now, um, Walter has years and years of experience of being an insurance investigator and things, so he knows the sort of things that they look for and everything. Um, Phyllis is, there's a lot more to Phyllis than the first scenes. Um, very disturbed lady. Um, but anyway, so they start this relationship um, and also um, this plan that um, they have to kill her husband and split the insurance. Um, so on this, the, um, the perfect murder is the fact that they make it seem that the husband fell from a moving train and dies. Okay, so before this happens, um, water make sure that the husband has this very particular um, life insurance um, for accidents involving trains um, anyway so there's going to be like a huge payout on this they obviously have to do it so it doesn't seem like suicide and it doesn't seem like murder um, so it's got to seem like an accident doing this um, obviously don't want to be caught like pushing him off the train or anything because that would be too risky so anyway they come up with this plan on how they can commit this perfect murder and get away with it and get the insurance um, they do to a certain extent um, as plots for perfect murder go it's not a bad one um, lots of little twists and things later on um, the part where it wasn't a five star for me, where it left me that little bit, was for the ending. I don't know, it just seemed, it didn't seem right. I don't know what I would have wanted to happen, but it wasn't that. I See, I, I would have wanted a certain end for Phyllis and a certain end for Walter in it each one could have had different endings than what it was i just didn't particularly like the one that they got at the end so um yeah there you go make of that what you will so anyway that is double indemnity now 
um, yes, I do highly recommend you read it. Like I said, again, it is a very quick read, so it's not going to um, take too much of your time and things. Um, and it is considered, you know, one of those classic murder mystery um, books and things. And like I said, I ended up reading it because of Eight Perfect Murders. So um, I will definitely be reading more of the books from Eight Perfect Murders um, so I can get a better idea on also because I enjoyed this one so much so I'm thinking yeah they were a good choice as well the, the books that were mentioned in the other book um, and yeah I also think because for someone who does really like this genre in general I think there's certain books that need to be read um, and this is definitely uh, one of them so uh, yes there you go. Um, anyway, it was definitely well worth the afternoon of reading this one. Uh, so do check it out. It also um, wasn't, I can't remember how much I actually paid for it, but it wasn't a lot. Um, got it off Amazon's. It was, I don't know, just a couple of euro, I think, um, doing it. So it's not going to break the bank either. Uh, so, yes. Um, also, while we're on the topic, have you ever read a book that mentions other books and then felt like you want to read all of the books that were mentioned in it? Um, if so, which book was it that mentioned them and which were the books that you it made you want to read? Because um, I would be, it would be interesting to know because I'm pretty sure that Eight Perfect Murders isn't the only book that mentions lots of other books in it like this. Um, so yeah, it's just, I, I would like to know more about it and I would like to read more books like this as well that have these kind of uh, elements to them, books about other books. Because um, I just, I find it very interesting and the overlap and things as well. And yes, I think it will be interesting to read the books which have been mentioned in the other books as well. So anyway, yes, please let me know all about them down in the comment section below. And uh, also make sure you click the subscribe button if you haven't already, so you don't miss out on new uploads to the channel. And while you're there, please give this video a like because it all really helps with the algorithm. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!